Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW guys, 5 series generation uh, from year 2010 to year 2017. This is known as generation F10 for the sedan, F11 for the uh, st uh, station wagon. If you need to remove the driver, front driver, uh, door panel, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that in this video. If you don't do things right, you will break multiple things. Make sure to watch guys until the end because everything is expensive and everything's fragile on these gentle vehicles guys. So we'll cover how to do that. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage, uh, we try to make at least two to 300 uh, free repair videos on BMWs. We even make more than that. Why we make so many videos? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Now when you guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. If you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here, guys. As I said, this is the five series that we'll be demonstrating on. And the door panel, okay, will be on the front driver's side. All right, right here. So let's start on it now. So uh, now we'll be removing the door panel because we'll be replacing that nasty door handle here That's a weak spot on BMWs guys. So let me explain how we're going to do that on this 5 series Now there is a, a few special clips. So one is that slides this way There is one metal one that holds everything in place here. If you go on the bottom you have lightning Okay, this is the ambient lightning. If you go like that you will break it. Don't do that. So come right here Okay, come in a corner Start pulling it out now Right here, there is one metal clip that you need to come from the bottom, press up. Okay, it came out. I'll show you in just a second once we remove it what I'm talking about. Okay, oh, here one, one of the small clips fell out. Now we come in an angle, come out, up. Slide forward and came out now here two of the metal clips fell out guys so those i need to get them out okay and i need to install them back on the door panel one right here i think i saw one actually that came out yep right here perfect and let me install that on the leather door panel okay right there so you can see that's the side clip right here. Now this metal clip over here guys, you come from underneath, okay, and you just press it and it comes out. Great. We had to do that because we have a hidden board here. Let's go ahead and remove that board by the way. Okay, torque sturdy right here and pull it out. All right, this one is out. Now, we have guys, Okay, a few more things that we need to do. Now, in some cases you may need to remove, okay, the cover for the mirror. In other cases you may not need to. We'll see if it works that way without removing it. If we need more room, we will have to remove it. Now I need to get a plastic prank too. Here things can go terribly bad. You have one clip that pops really easy on the back. You have one on top, one on bottom that are super tight. And if you pry too hard, you will break them and then that piece will be loose. So I come right here on the back. I release it like that. Then I get a big prying to you guys. And I come right here and I try to push the whole piece down so it can come out of the clip. But you have the ambient lightning as well. So it's tricky. You have to kind of like see where things are okay and it came out now the bottom one once the top one comes out you come like that in an angle you push up and try to pull it out now one of the clips is right here then you have here and here and let me show you where those clips are on the inside and that can easily break i'm talking about this one here and this one on top right there that can easily easily break by the way so uh, now we're going to get a torque sturdy comes out perfect now that's where things get more complicated that door panel has multiple clips and if you need if you break some we'll have a link in the description of the video below where you can get replacements from what i'm going to do now i'll get the small prime tool now 
Now come in the corner. And he's trying to feed it somewhere. That is ridiculously tight by the way. Okay, I went underneath. A paper barcode came out. I'll put another two underneath. Father one. Then I'll get one more far one because you have multiple clips that are super tight. <coughs> and we kind of like need to pop it loose. Okay. The moment you pop it loose, guys, you get it with fingers. And after that, it goes easy. But the first clips. Are terrible now here guys we're hitting the okay the mirror cover so what do we need to do that mirror cover needs to come out okay let me see which will be the easiest way from here Okay, here it comes out. The foam piece with the speaker, with the tweeter here, needs to come out like that. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see if we can gently pull that panel out. Now, one thing that you need to do before we explain about all the clips, on the clips you should have the black seals Installed if they're stuck on the door, pull them out and install them on the clips because if you don't guys, later you have rattle noises coming from the door so you don't want that to happen so let me do that before we lose any or we forget about it, right? okay, one I dropped and we just have two more That we need to do now all the clips where they are we start from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven clips and the door panel comes out in order to disconnect the uh, interior door handle cable you need to pry that tube but not too much not to break it towards the back and it comes out later you install it on a closed door handle and all we have to do now at that point Disconnect the wiring harness and you're ready to go. So, you can see guys, that's how you remove. Okay, front door panel on BMW 5 Series. If you have any questions, let us know. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.